very passionate Tim Tebow. Uh, kind of going in on you guys that think that. So check this out again. Listen. Remember, it's not an audio. So it's, it's not a video. It's an audio. So y'all take a listen again. I feel like I, I have a little credibility and knowledge about this because when I was at the when I was at the University of Florida, I think my jersey was one of the top selling jerseys around the world. Uh, it was like Kobe, LeBron, and then I was right behind them, and I didn't make a dollar from it. But nor did I want to because I knew going into college what 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 it uh, what it was all about. I knew going to Florida, my dream school, where I wanted to go, the passion for it, and if I could support my team, support my college, support my university, that's what it's all about. But now we're changing it from us from we from my university from being an alumni where i care which makes college football and college sports special to then okay it's not about us it's not about we it's just about me and yes i know we live in a selfish culture where it's all about us but we're just adding and piling it onto that where it changes what's special about college football and we turn it into the nfl where who has the most money that's where you go that's why people are more passionate about college sports than they are about NFL. That's why the, 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 um, the stadiums are bigger in college than they are in the NFL. Because it's about your team. It's about your university. It's about where my family wanted to go. It's about where my grandfather had a dream of seeing Florida win an SEC championship. And you're taking that away so that young kids can earn a dollar. And that's just not where I feel like college football needs to go. That's fair, There's man. that opportunity in the NFL, that's but fair. not in college football. Well, Stephen A. saying that's fair. There's nothing fair about it, to be honest with you. And Tebow, like I said, I was a fan of Tebow uh, in, in college and professionally and everything else, and, you know, personally as well. But as far as this, this opinion, I feel like it's extremely ignorant. Um, and here's the thing. First of all, Tebow, you can't tell me you would not take that money if you, as marketable as Tim Tebow was at the time, the top-selling jersey in the world, you can't tell me that you would not take that money if you had the opportunity to. First of all, that's number one. And there's nothing wrong with taking that money. There's nothing shameful about taking that money. That's what I don't understand. That's what the NCAA is trying to shame these athletes into taking this money. Like this is such a terrible thing to do or something. That's, it's, a, it's a pathetic excuse of a reason to not pay these guys. See, what you're saying, what Tim Tebow said there, was dripping with entitlement. It was dripping with privilege. And that's the problem. Do you know how many college athletes are out here struggling to make ends meet on a day-to-day -day basis? They're out here playing and making billions of dollars for a university. Billions of dollars. The university is selling their likeness. They're selling posters of them pictures with their pictures on it. They're selling their likenesses. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're making billions on these TV contracts with these guys out there killing themselves on the football field. And that's just football. That's not to talk about basketball. That's not to talk about baseball. That's not to talk about soccer or hockey or all the other sports that are going on or, or whatever else you want to mention. It's all the same thing. Now, basketball and football are the kings. Of, of that sport, but nonetheless, these universities are making all this money, and Team Tebow has the nerve to say it's about passion. Well, what makes you think you don't have passion anymore if you want to get paid for your work? That I don't understand. You can still be just as passionate for your school while doing business on the side. And this isn't even a thing, what, what's being going on right now, that's being uh, presented right now. It's not even a thing where the colleges have to pay these students for all the boatloads of money that they make. They don't even have to do that. What this, the, the legislation that's being pushed right now is giving college football players and college athletes, period, that feel that they're marketable enough to hire themselves an agent and to get themselves their own endorsements, their own deals, to make money off their own likenesses, their own names. What's the problem with that? You ain't robbing the school. You're not robbing the athletes. You're not robbing your family or your grandfather, Tim Tebow's grandfather. That ain't got nothing to do with anything. <laughs> you know, and I, I appreciate, you know, his passion for school. But, you know, let's not mistake passion for ignorance. And I think he's getting both of those kind of mixed up there. Because I guarantee you this. Tim Tebow didn't have to struggle for food when he was at Florida. 
I'm going to just leave it at that. Read a couple of these comments.